In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus PbNO3 2, sodium hydroxide plus lead 2 nitrate. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So we have two nitrate ions here and just one here. So let's put a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. We have two sodiums, so let's put a 2 over here. That balances the sodiums. Now we have two hydroxides. That balances those. So we're done. This equation is balanced. Now that we have the molecular equation, we need to write the state for each substance. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. It's a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissociate into its ions, so we say aqueous. Nitrates are very soluble. Aqueous. We have sodium nitrate, so that'll be aqueous. So in general, hydroxide compounds are insoluble. There are exceptions. Sodium hydroxide, that's an exception. Group 1 elements, they're often soluble. But for hydroxides in general, insoluble. They're not going to dissolve in water, so they're going to be a solid. So when these two substances react, this will form the solid. It'll be a precipitate. You'll see it fall to the bottom of the test tube. Now we have the states. We can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So sodium's in group 1, 1 plus ionic charge. The hydroxide, always 1 minus. Two sodium ions and two hydroxide ions. And I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus, we don't know the charge on lead because it's a transition metal, but the nitrate, that's always 1 minus, and we have two of them. Lead has to be 2 plus. That's why we called it lead 2 nitrate. So we have our lead 2 ion, and then we have those two nitrate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have two sodium ions and then two nitrate ions. For the solid here, for the lead 2 hydroxide, we don't split that apart. That's just going to be PbOH2. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. In my reactants here, I see I have two sodium ions. In the products, two sodium ions. So those we don't need. Reactants, two nitrate. Product, two nitrates. Cross those out. What's left, that's our net ionic equation for NaOH plus PbNO3 2. I'll clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus lead to nitrate. You'll notice that we have the same charge on each side, 2 minus here, 2 plus, so that cancels out. We have our neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. Often with net ionic equations, we see the positive ion first. It doesn't really matter. It's the same equation either way, but this does look a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus lead to nitrate. Thanks for watching.